I'm Philip Watson. Today we are standing in what used to be a shooting range. Everything in this valley was full of litter. There were TVs and washing machines. And thanks to the Forest Service and all those involved, it looks great. And thank you guys so much. Today we are going to be looking for the western tent caterpillars and let's discover wilderness. We got a bullet. This area used to be a shooting range. Looks like a 45. It's pretty cool. Put it there. All right, let's see what we got under this. Oh wow. Oh, a little spider. Well, not as much as I thought. Look, we got a teepee. Every once in a while you'll find these in the woods. I think we should go take a look and see what's inside. The teepees are a form of tent and like the caterpillars we're looking for, they provide good shelter. So whenever you're a kid and you find stuff like this, whoo, it's so fun. You come in here and just imagine. So this is the first sign that we're on the right trail. This is a Western tent caterpillar. And they have a lot of cool designs. There's orange on this one. And these guys are usually really hairy. Let's see. Let's see if we can get it to walk a little bit. They look pretty cool when they walk. Ooh, this, this guy's got some pep in his step. Since we found this, we should look up because these have their tents and mostly aspen trees. And there it is. This is the first tent of the trip and I'm sure we'll find more. Here is another one. So this one's just out of reach. I'm sure we'll be able to find some more that I can reach. I'm gonna to try to get one of these tent caterpillars nests. We'll see if we can do it. Ooh, man, look at that. My first indication that this may have been a bad idea was that the tree was dead. Next, how wobbly the tree was, and that the branches were crumbling as I climbed. Yes, not that one. Ooh. Ooh, man. About this time I realized maybe it was a bad decision, so I took a break and had to make the choice to go down or try for it. Okay. Ooh. Luckily, the tree didn't snap, and I had a good arm hold on it. Oops. All right. Um, can you come get this? Okay. Thank you. This is the western tent caterpillar. 
they turn into moths that are brown with a little light colored line going across their backs. And these guys, you can see here, they eat all the leaves around where their nest is, or their tent. So this one here is getting close to making a cocoon. They, they get about two inches, and that's about two inches. Um, and all the little guys are going to take a while before they're ready to turn into a moth. And as you can tell here, all these little black things are poop. So their houses get a little messy. These guys like aspens the most, but they can be found on most broadleaf plants. Inside the nest is safety from birds and other predators. So, Watch where you sit. I got a few ants mad at me. Let's see what's underneath this. Oh yeah, ooh, look at all those eggs. All right, I'm gonna put that back down. And, uh, woo! <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, ready? So. What, what the ants are doing right now is they're, uh, other than biting me, they're um, taking all their eggs and they're going to the nearest place where they can hide them. And these uh, ants have a decent bite, not too good, but enough that you feel it. All right, sweet. So these caterpillars are considered pests and they have a chance of harming the aspens they're in if there's a lot of nests in a particular tree but most of the time removing them by cutting the branches can do more harm than the caterpillars will so this is the tree it came from there's the little broken tree we're gonna hang it back up here and they will be able to climb out of the nest and back up to the food awesome Tune in to Discover Wilderness from July 3rd to 10th for a new bug every day during Bug Week.